Having high competence standards, it allows innovation and net zero carbon, we have to innovate in order to um, decarbonize our buildings. And more importantly, the quality of the end product is much higher. So for me, it's the center of everything. The Building Safety Act explains it as having skills, knowledge, experience, behaviors for an individual. But let me put this in a different way. If you have something break in your house and you need to bring uh, an installer or maintenance person in, how do you, as just an average homeowner, know that they are competent? We don't. You want them to have the right skills. You want them to have the right knowledge of their trade. You want them to have experience and you want them to have the appropriate behaviors. Not everybody has that in our industry today um, and we're trying to tackle that. It ties back mostly to what happened with Grenfell. There were some um, pretty poor levels of competence standards for some of the people working on the refurbishment of Grenfell. When an occupation has high competence standards in place, the quality of the output is much higher. But where competence standards are quite low, your innovation is almost non-existent and the quality is really poor, which is what happened at Grenfell. Uh, so if we are going to retrofit properties in this country, our competence standards have to be improved. What we are doing is bringing together 130 different sector groups into a room to talk about what competence looks like in all of those various occupations. We have occupations who would never normally talk to each other, working together and figuring out that actually they are connected in some way. The electrotechnical sector is quite far advanced in terms of their competence standards. So really all the sector group is doing is looking at uh, revalidation and continued professional development routes. For other occupations that are a bit new, uh, specifically linked to net zero carbon, what we've done is brought together a group of people in that sector to identify what skills, knowledge, experience and behaviours are and what the process for revalidation looks like. So a lot of really good work has been done in the electrotechnical sphere. I feel really positive about the state of electrotechnical, most certainly, but competence generally. I think we're on the right track. We're doing all the right things. We have the support of all the right people. Our industry is ready to change. It has to change. And I do feel pretty positive about where we're going. 2025 is gonna be a really good year because we're going to develop so many of the competence frameworks. We're gonna roll these out. We've got Skills England being set up. Uh, so yeah, I'm feeling very, very confident.